Welcome back to the QP Buckeye Insider. We are in Florida preparing for the Orange Bowl between the Buckeyes and the Clemson Tigers. Alongside Garrett Searett, I'm Mark Coates. And Garrett, an Ohio State defense that there's been a lot of criticism, a lot of question marks after what how they performed against both Michigan and Michigan State in the last two games of the season. Well, certainly they've earned those criticisms. You give up 41 points to a Michigan offense that had struggled to gain even negative or zero rushing yards in games, and a Devin Gardner who had a broken foot and you give up 41 points to them, and then a Michigan State team that certainly had their struggles offensively, and, and uh, you know, the Ohio State had them down, and they were able to fight their way back in. So defense has certainly earned those criticisms, and, and I think it's, it's a warranted kind of um, – it's a warranted – concern that sure. that this is a great offense that Clemson has and um, you know that's <laughs> much better frankly than Michigan State and Michigan and um, you, you gotta hope that the Buckeyes defense has uh, certainly gotten mentally mentally tougher and also fundamentally uh, more sound than they have in those last two ball games. And, and talking to some of the Ohio State defensive personnel they certainly seem confident that the the bowl game preparation has got them ready to improve the defense as they take on Clemson on Friday night. Worked on a lot of fundamentals, um, and I think that'll help a lot because if we can get good at the stuff that we know how to do, we won't have to install a whole bunch. And so that's going to be it. We got to play sound uh, defensive football. We got to tackle. Um, you know, we got to got to have some awareness. And we got to play fast. Just minor tweaks, really. You know, and still working on working the game and uh, preparing the defense to play. Um, the DBs, I'd say as a whole. Uh, usually um, in practice they might not be batting all the balls down or might not be getting very many interceptions or just letting the scout team receivers catch the ball. But uh, what I've seen in the bowl practices is they're not letting the scout team catch the ball as much. Um, they're making an effort to get interceptions rather than just knock the ball down. And uh, so that's good to see. When, we, when you hear that type of stuff, it, it really just push you and, and feel your fire uh, because uh, everybody, everybody doesn't think that we can do it or everybody thinks that uh, we're not capable, but uh, every time somebody says we're not, we're not able to do something, we, 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 we perform. And uh, I feel like uh, us going against our offense is really going to help us out a lot when it comes to going against their offense. I think, uh, I, think our, I mean, I don't think there's a lack of confidence from our DBs. I think that we, uh, we believe in ourselves and we think that we're good. Um, but, yes, this is a, a, this is a chance to, uh, you know, to prove, you know, to the doubters and a lot of doubters, that uh, you know that that we can play that we can play well, and I think uh, you know we have to go out there and prove it. Just keep working. I mean, that's that's the best thing we know how to do, and uh, you know there's there's no magic to all the things that we do. Um, you know, we get better at what it is we do. These guys every day get better. They they work well together. That's the biggest thing. I think, you know, there's not one pinpoint thing where you can say, hey, we have to do this, we have to do this, we have to do this. The reality is, um, we got to all work together, and that's why football is the, the greatest team sport known to man. You know, people can point fingers and look at stats and say, you're this and this and you're this and this. And the reality is, there's 11 guys out there, and they're all responsible to work together, um, whether it's pass, run, doesn't matter. So uh, the, the, the ability for us to continue to get better and work together, I think, is the biggest thing we got to do. You, you said repeatedly that you like, you'd rather be criticized than praised. Um, given the way the defense has played, uh, the criticism that you've come under, I mean, how do you deal with that? We don't listen to start with. You know, and sometimes, uh, you know, my kids are at an age where I don't have to worry about it as much because they don't. But uh, they're getting to that age where, where uh, they start to ask you questions. And you know, I got my own son that says, well, Dad, maybe you should do this. Maybe you should do this. And he's only 11. But um, the reality is, is, is you can't let those things, can't let those things affect you. Um, like I said, you know, for us, and we talk about it all the time in Columbus, sometimes the, the hardest thing to, do, to handle is praise. Um, and then criticism is just one of those things that makes you kind of bear down and, and work a little bit harder and, and make sure you're trying to fix those things. But uh, if you let that stuff affect you and, and change your mentality and your, and your outlook on, on what you're trying to do, um, that's when it's getting the best of you. So, you know, whether we've had problems, uh, we address them, we continue to work to get better, and uh, we handle it on a day-to-day -day issue. Uh, you know, he's taking some criticism and, you know, that's a part of the profession too. And we all understand that. But as players, I think we kind of get a chip on our shoulder too. And I take that personally because that's my coach. And so 
um, I think that's a little extra motivation for us to go out there and play hard too. So certainly the Buckeyes saying the right things as the defense gets ready for Clemson. We're going to take a break when we come back. We'll head out to practice with Ohio State as they're practicing at Nova Southeast University. As you know, people aren't maybe familiar with Miami. It's kind of things are spread out. The, the Orange Bowl itself is no longer the Orange Bowl itself is no longer <laughs> to tell you the truth. They play the game at Sun Life Stadium, which is well north of Miami. Ohio State's headquartered in Hollywood, which isn't too far from Fort Lauderdale, and they're practicing at uh, Nova Southeastern. So they're all over the place. We're going to take you to practice right after this break on the QP Buckeye Insider. <laughs> 